Alright, uh... I don't know, to be honest, today went really shit. In terms of... My daily life. Woke up, didn't sleep hardly at all, and, uh... Felt like shit, was really nauseous, ended up calling out of work. Still feeling nauseous, but I have to hit back. So, we're just going to push through. I ate like two bean burritos. Uh, drinking some pre now. Hopefully I'll get carved and caffeinated up and be able to power through this shit. Shoulders are definitely obliterated from yesterday, but... I just won't go full demon mode and fuck them up any worse than they already are. Uh, hopefully the gym's not too busy and I can record some sets, but if not, I'll just probably get the first like main two. I think I'm going to start off with bent rows and maybe some lat pulldowns after. But, uh, yeah, see y'all in the gym. Alright, so uh, just uh, this is the warm-up set for my bent rows, really just more of a form check. Uh, after hitting these, I just reviewed the video to make sure I was using the form I wanted to for these. Now we got a yellow and a blue on. I think that's 165 since they're pound plates. Yeah. Um, kind of coming up a little bit more than I would like to. I would like to stay a little bit more hinged over in the bent row, but it's not really about perfect form on these. It's more about uh, <coughs> loading it up somewhat heavy and uh, getting a deep stretch whenever you let that weight down and it's really yanking on your lats, yanking on your upper back. I really like these to help me feel more of the lower lat. Um, I get a ton of upper lat and rhomboid from the lat pull downs, but this is where I feel my lower lat the best, especially when I think about driving the bar less up and more back towards my uh, towards my waistline, like kind of towards the hip area. If I pull it straight up. I definitely get a good contraction, but I hit the lower lat best when I kind of pull the bar backwards more. Um, again, just another set of bent rows, same weight. Here I think I went a little deeper on reps, took it a little bit further. I am using straps just so that way I'm not limited by my grip or forearms. Yeah, I was uh, I was sitting the bar on the ground every now and again just to kind of reset. My lower back and lower lats were feeling super pumped here, so it was somewhat uncomfortable. But yeah, you can definitely see as I'm getting tired, I'm starting to really use my spinal erectors more. All right, and now we have a little drop set, uh, basically back to the warm-up weight. Uh, this was just to, uh, I, I wanted it to be a failure, but to be honest, I didn't, I didn't achieve muscular failure. What I did achieve, though, was form breakdown to the point where I wasn't hitting the targeted muscles like I should have been. So I kind of cut it off of there once I to no longer maintain a rigid bent forward position. Yeah, I'm getting tired here just trying to pump them out. Just trying to get a couple more. <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, definitely some form breakdown, but yeah. Sometimes you just gotta go hard. Yep, that's about it. Alright, uh, just got back home from the gym. 
I didn't record anything after the bent rows just because it was kind of busy and honestly I didn't feel comfortable like setting stuff up in the cable area just because like I don't know everybody be in the cable area so like I don't know I didn't want to fucking intrude on their fucking private fucking sanctity I guess like I don't know no one really goes to the gym wanting to end up in the background of a recording so I was just trying to be considerate of that we'll probably want to start like go a little bit later once it's cleared out uh, just so I can record more stuff or possibly like really early I'll have to go in the morning but yeah today was just shit man fucking went and stopped by the grocery store after fucking gym got some milk cause I was out I didn't have any fucking 2% I recorded a little video in there because I was fucking astonished like it's been raining and motherfuckers bought up all the milk all the whole milk all the 2% it's all gone there's no fucking 2% or whole milk at this goddamn Kroger down the road there's just fucking 1% fucking fat free I want a bulk I'm trying to get big I'm trying to get big and I can't do that with fucking fat free bullshit like I get it, fat's not like what you want to drive up the calories with. You want to drive it up with like protein and carbs. But like, I don't know how much more fucking rice I can eat every day. I'm just getting tired of it. But uh, I'm going to keep doing it, even if I'm tired of it, even if I don't like it. Back on to today being shit though, like, <clears throat> just woke up super nauseous, called out of work. I think I talked about that earlier in the clip before I went into the gym. Uh, even while I was lifting, like, I started getting a pump and was feeling a little bit better. And then I just ended up feeling sick in between sets. Like, I would hop on it, go hard. Uh, after the bent rows that I did record, uh, I did, like, five sets of lat pull down. Just, like... I was modulating the weight just to try and keep it above 15 reps. Um, started off heavier and then dropped it down just to keep the volume up as the workout went on. After that, I did like a isometric. Uh, it's kind of like half a like you go on the on a cable stack. You know, there's the fucking lat pull down on one side. There's the row on the other, and then you got perpendicular to the lat pull down and row you got two little fucking adjustable ones that you can do other shit with um i was using one of those sitting on the floor pulling kind of like at a 45 degree angle uh just to hit it a little bit different uh did those one arm at a time really focus on like driving the elbow back and down and then after that did some isometric chest supported rows and like pump was great I felt fucking big I felt like I was getting a lot of work done but I was I was having to walk around and stay near the trash can the whole time just cause I was feeling like I was gonna vomit so I guess in spite of that we still got a good workout in we got a good pump was working out with the homie Blake tonight uh, he's always a great workout partner uh, me and him like doing similar exercises uh, so I always enjoy working out with Blake um, we're, we're not the exact same strength on everything but we're similar enough to where we can work in like pretty effectively with each other uh, but yeah I don't know nothing today went how I wanted it to and that's okay, because there's fucking tomorrow. So, uh, I guess I'm going to go throw this video together, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Alright guys, I, uh, just stopped by the grocery store. You know, uh, just got done at the gym. 
needed some milk for my protein shake. Guess what? They ain't got no fucking whole milk. They ain't got no 2% milk. All they got is fat-free fucking skim milk. I can't get big off that. What do they want me to do? They want me to spend double the price for some purity? Hell no, I'm not doing that. 